Welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video we'll be showing you how to um, create a desktop shortcut in Ubuntu or actually this would work for any type of Linux distribution but I don't know if this is gonna work the same for any type of desktop environment that's why I'm using Ubuntu and this might also work in things like Pop! OS since both are using GNOME 3 um, but anyway I will show this in Ubuntu and I chose Ubuntu because this is one of the most popular uh, you know still operating systems when it comes to Linux and uh, you know it works fine for me and the if you're gonna use this uh, this uh, the, the, the way that I'm going to do this if you're going to use this method then most likely this is gonna work for your Linux distribution as well so uh, first thing you want to do is open up your text editor so you want to go over to the text editor. I'm going to do this all in the GUI. We're not going to do anything in the uh, we're not going to do anything in the um, terminal here since the easiest way is to just, you know, use the GUI for this. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to get the square brackets and you want to enter desktop entry. So we're not going to do any ty type of shortcut like you when you would create a shortcut in Windows. Uh, you would actually just use something like uh, you know right click this and then you want to um, create a shortcut but this is not available in Linux so you want to do this in a different way so first of all you want to create the desktop entry and then you want to do a couple of things first of all you want to name it so let's name this one uh, for example Firefox so we're gonna create for this example we're gonna create a, an icon uh, a shortcut on our desktop called Firefox it's going to be our launcher file. So the name is going to be Firefox. Then we want to define the executable, which is exec. And this can be Firefox. This is actually the command you want to be using when you're launching um, something. So this is actually like if you were typing the command Firefox in the terminal, then the software, so the, uh, the executable Firefox will also start up. So this is the one you want to enter here. Um, the icon would also be Firefox um, and then you want to define a type this is not necessary but it's just good to have this application and then you want to enter the categories again this is not necessary this is just something that your system can uh, see what this software actually is so categories is going to be internet Okay, and then you can also, when you would launch something like an, um, so when you would launch something like a terminal file, if, if, if you want to launch this in your terminal, you can do something like terminal uh, equals true, for example. So if this would, oops, terminal equals true. But, you know, since this is not the case, we're going to enter false. Again, this is not necessary, so you can skip this if you want to. Um, but I'm not going to even enter it over here. Um, okay, so this is actually all we need. So the desktop entry has been created. So the name is Firefox, the executable is Firefox, the icon is Firefox, the type is an application, and the category is Internet, actually. It's just an Internet browser, so I'm not going to get any other uh, categories involved. If you want to enter multiple categories, you can split them by uh, this, the code, the, this, uh, comma colon or whatever you call it in English um, so you're gonna save this file you're gonna save this to the desktop and you're gonna call this um, so Firefox dot desktop so this is the extension you want to always put behind the file so you can put whatever you want here so if you want to name this internet browser dot desktop that's your choice but you always have to enter dot desktop because if you don't enter the dot desktop then uh, the operating system or the desktop environment isn't going to recognize this file as being a launcher or a shortcut. So just go ahead and save that. And right now we can see that, um, let's close this up. We can see that it's like a text file. And if you double click it, untrusted application launcher, and you cannot launch it from here. So you want to go and right click it, go over to properties, go into permissions, and then allow executing file as a program. Close that up, then hit it again. 
and then trust and launch and as you can see our Firefox browser is launching perfectly and the icon also appears on our desktop here. So I hope this video helped you out guys and if it did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.